In this video, we're going to take you through adding an image to a post or a page. It's the same whichever one you use. So very quickly, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some dummy text in. This is a new page. So I'm literally going to just paste some dummy text in there. And as you can see, we've got our Laura Mipson text going in there. I'd like an image in at the top. So I'm going to click add media and I'm going to drag an image in and drop it in here. Now you can also select upload files and select the files from your desktop or wherever you want to be, or you can just drag into this space and it uploads the file for you. We go back to our image library. And you can see here, we've got our coffee one, which is one of my favorite subjects. So we're on coffee and you can see down the bottom on this bit, we have the attachment display settings. Now we have no alignment showing on here and it links to the media file, which is this URL here. And it says the size of the image. Now the size of the image that we uploaded was 2001 pixels by 1501 pixels, which is huge. It is literally huge. So what WordPress has done is it crunched it down into a number of different sizes for you because it obviously thinks that size is too big for you. So it's done that work for you. You don't need to do anything else. We'll leave this on medium. We're going to change this so that it doesn't link to anything. We'll say we can say none. If you want to link it to a custom URL, you can link it to whatever page or website or wherever you want to link it to by simply typing it in here. Or you can take it to an attachment page, which is a page that's dedicated on your website to view that particular image. We don't want it actually going anywhere, so we're going to say none. Now, if I click insert into page, you can see that it's inserted it into the page. Now, if I preview this page and we have a look here, you can see it, it doesn't really sit very nice and it'd be nice if the text filled this gap here. So if we go back into our edit and we select the picture, you will notice that you get a little toolbar come up here. Now this is new for WordPress 4.0 uh, and 4.1 upwards. So you can highlight it and you can say, Okay, well, I want to either remove it, I want to edit it. So I want to change the title of the picture or the alt text, uh, which if we go in, you can see here, you can add a caption to it. So coffee and the alt text as well says coffee. Alt text shows when the image isn't available. So now if we click update on there, you'll see that we've got a little coffee showing here and you can add in there photo credits for the person that took the photograph and things like that. Now, if we look, you can see that we have no alignment, right alignment, center alignment, or left alignment. If I click left alignment, you'll see that the text wraps around nicely around the picture. Center alignment just doesn't look quite as nice. And if we go right alignment, you can see it wraps the text around to the right. So if we click on left alignment, which is one of my favored, and then we click preview. We're going to go back to our demo content. And as you can see, it's added it in and it looks really nice. Now it's a lot nicer than it was with just plain text on it. That is literally how easy it is to add a photograph to your WordPress pages and posts.